With severe weather season fully underway, we could start seeing more threats from tornadoes and damaging winds, flooding and even large hail. We usually get the most significant hail during the month of May. Meteorologist Hagen Zinnaker shows you how that hail forms and what causes it to get so large. Hail is basically just a ball or lump of ice, typically formed during severe thunderstorms. When large hail storms happen in densely populated areas, it can cause billions of dollars of damages. Dented cars, aircraft, hitting livestock, and pummeling crops. Corn and soybeans are typically the most sensitive to that damage. And depending on the construction, man-made structures are also vulnerable. And those large hailstones can even cause severe bodily injury and even death if it's large enough and hits a person's head. If you ever look at a hailstone, you can see that it has layers to it. This is due to how they're created. Let's take a look at how those stones get so big. Hailstones grow through collisions with supercooled water droplets, forming a nucleus for other water droplets to freeze on. This happens in two modes. The first mode is what's known as wet growth, where the air temperatures are just below freezing around the nucleus, resulting in water droplets that don't immediately freeze. The droplets slowly spread out around the nucleus during that time period, then release trapped air bubbles, creating a layer of very clear ice. The second mode is dry growth, where the air around the nucleus is well below freezing, resulting in water droplets that instantly freeze to the nucleus. That's when we get clouded layers of ice due to those trapped air bubbles. If storm updraft is actually strong enough, that hailstone could actually loop around inside this thunderstorm and it could actually grow in that process and it will do that multiple times. If that happens and when the hailstone finally begins, when, finally, when it finally falls down, it could be as large as either a golf ball or even a softball. Reporting from the studio, I'm meteorologist Hagen Zinnaker.